Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Today I woke up to an email notification letting me know that my Unify NVR, UNVR, is down. And it's not showing up in the UI protect portal. Um, I can't get to it from the web. So we're going to walk through the troubleshooting steps that uh, I'm going to use to try to get this thing back online. I should note that it is remote, like I'm not in the same location as this device. So this could be a bit of a challenge. The first step, of course, is just to see if it's if it's on. Um, I could see using the Unify controller and looking at the switch port to see that uh, it actually, the, port, the network port was green. So I went ahead and just tried to ping it. And as you can see here that the, it's responding to ping, so the machine is on. So the next step was to SSH into the UNVR, and you can see SSH is running, so that, that is working. The next step we're going to do is we're going to look at the status of the UI, Unify Protect service, just to see what we have. And we can see here that it died about 2 hours and 18 minutes ago, which isn't awesome. So let's go ahead and see, let's just wing it and see if we ask it to start what happens. Let's hit that status again. And now it is running, which is awesome. So let's open up a browser and see if we can get to the, the web UI. Here's our browser, as we can see. The Even though the, um, the protect service is running, we can't get to the, the web UI. So next step is, I actually don't really know. Let's just see if we can reboot the box for, remotely. Let's get our ping going to see if we anything happens. Oh, so we just lost SSH. So that's a, a good sign. The box is coming back online. Let's just give it 30 seconds or so to see if, um, to wait for everything to spin up and hopefully the uh, web server starts up as well. Brilliant. So I'm going to go ahead and let Ubiquity know what happened. Hopefully they can, I don't know, get something from the log files. But that's a, a quick thing that you can do. As long as you have SSH access to the box and it is responding to SSH, you can just reboot it and it looks like it comes back up. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.